I think it is. I've already heard a few conversations in the dressing room. I mean, certainly in the dressing room, uh, you know, as people are talking, uh, obviously you're talking about, oh, there's a 2026 World Cup and, you know, there's a T20 World Cup in 2026, there's a 50 over World Cup in 2027. And then you hear people saying, hey, there's the Olympics in 2028. And, you know, so is, you're already hearing those kind of conversations, young people. Uh, I think teams are going to start building towards that, developing towards that, because there's no doubt about it. You know, I think once you get to that event, it's going to be it's going to be huge. People are going to want to win that gold medal. Uh, people are going to want to stand on a podium. People are going to be want to be a part of a, a games village. People are going to be want to be a part of a, a great sporting event and interact with so many other great athletes. So, yeah, I think you know um, as you get closer and closer to the event, uh, I have no doubt about it that uh, teams will start preparing well. I, I wouldn't be surprised if you know teams. Uh, I think a lot of sports of a lot of athletes of other sports certainly do that. They actually get to these countries maybe a couple of years, a year in advance just to check out what the facilities are like. I'm sure you'll start seeing cricket teams get trying to get to the US or trying to get to Los Angeles to get a sense of what it might be like really to prepare for these events. But uh, I have no doubt that uh, teams are going to take this very, very seriously and players are going to be fighting tooth and nail to be there. The only small chance that I had of experiencing something like this and obviously not the Olympics but there was cricket at the Commonwealth Games. I think it was in 1998, if I'm not right, mistaken. I think right. it was Malaysia. And um, India sent a team, but they sent, we had, we had a, at the same time, we had a series in, in Canada, in Toronto. Right. We were playing Pakistan in, in, in Toronto. And they split the Indian team into two parts. You know, they, they sort of had one set of boys go to Toronto and, and one set of boys go to Malaysia. And I was hoping and praying that I would be um, in the team to Malaysia. Unfortunately for me, I was... Yeah, I admit it, it was just for the easy runs. Uh, because Canada. <laughs> but no, I, I think, you know, um, just the... So you've grown up with the Olympics. I think if you've been a sports fan, if you've loved sport as I have, uh, you know, we've grown up watching the Olympics. I mean, my earliest memories are of, you know, Carl Lewis winning Olympics and the television coming into India um, in those days. And, you know, all of us glued to those uh, television sets to watch... Uh, you know, watch these great athletes perform and play. Uh, and so many of these, so many of the Indian athletes as well, you know, who participated in these Olympic Games. And you always wanted to be a part of a, of a great event. We have our great events in cricket, you know, we have our World Cups. and But they're individual events. They're, they're only cricketers at those events. They're the greatest cricketers in the world who come together in one country to, to play those, those great events. But here to, to be in this kind of environment, this kind of energy, this kind of vibe, it's, it's a dream come true for any sportsman. Uh, to be a part of that and it always felt it, it always felt that you know cricket should be involved in events like this it's truly a great game it's it's followed and watched by so many people in the world uh, but it's just fantastic you know from someone like me who's now really a fan for us for me to be able to see and, and, and to see cricket in the olympics that's going to be a part of this uh, i think it's truly phenomenal so Obviously, unfortunately, I won't be able to play um, in, in 2028. Never say never. Huh? <laughs> uh, unless they're going to play 10-day test or something. <laughs> but, uh, no. uh, unfortunately, I won't be able to play as a player, but I, I, I'm certainly going to be make all an effort to be at Los Angeles in some capacity or the other. You guys can, if not anything, at least I'll take a media job. You guys can organize a media job for me. Yeah, I think it was it was really good. I think you know, in terms of, um, I think it was a great effort on the part of the ICC to to take the event to the US um, and expose that level of that audience to to the game. I mean, we know there's an incredible audience for cricket in the US. We know that from just the number of people who travel from the US to other World Cup events, or just the number of people who follow a lot of the websites or to follow uh, cricket from the US. I'm sure they are, a lot of them are from the subcontinent or from a lot of the Commonwealth countries who do that. But there is a huge market for the sport. There's a huge, more than a market, I mean, that's probably Harsh's word, more than mine. But there's, there's a huge passion and, and, uh, for the game in the US. And, you know, um, and it was really nice to be able to, to play in the US. And, and some of those games were, were just packed. I mean, the India-Pakistan game, the India-US game. Um, I think what was also fascinating, I think there was this game, I wasn't there, but there was this game, I think there was a Nepal-Sri Lanka game, apparently that got washed out, but it was packed, apparently there were uh, so many Nepalese who came out to support their team and 
that was the other country that I think had a phenomenal World Cup, you know, leads into uh, Jeff's point that just growing the game and having more people play the game um, was phenomenal. So I think a lot of those objectives were, were, were really achieved at the World Cup. I'm sure Jeff and his team, you know, would have learned from some of the experiences out there. Um, you know, there were some learnings on the, the actual cricketing facilities that, uh, that were available, um, which I think is a great, uh, is something that, you know, you can take into the next cycle or, or into the next event four years later. So, I think the potential is, is truly there in the US. Uh, it needs to be tapped into, it needs to be encouraged more and more. Um, just the fact that countries like Nepal, countries like the UAE, countries like Pakistan, India, can actually all play uh, in the US and have incredible amount of support. Uh, Bangladesh as well, Sri Lanka. You know, I think it's a, it, it is a great opportunity there and especially for US cricket as well to build on this success uh, and really grow over the next uh, three or four years and to build on the facilities. I think the key, one of the key things in cricket, I think, which is slightly unique, we are a unique sport in the sense that uh, facilities make a huge, I think they make a difference in any sport, but especially in cricket because it's turf and it's still one of the few sports that is played on a natural surface. Um, to get that level of quality and to get that level of entertainment, that is the part that needs to be got right. And I think, you know, we've learned, I'm sure ICC has learned a lot through this experience, which will only get better and better. But uh, truly love playing in the US, love the effort that went into it. Uh, you know, I think a top job done by the ICC on getting that there.